Palm Island is a picturesque island sitting smack bang in the middle of the Great Barrier Reef. And perhaps more relevant to this story, only 60 k's off the coast from Townsville, Australia's largest defence city. During both world wars, Australian and US personnel had a presence on Palm Island. During World War II, they built an airstrip on the ocean for flying boats. And after they left, a mystery was born. According to local legend, a huge number of unwanted weapons and heaps of equipment was dumped into the channel between the two main islands. Ever since, people have searched for this potential treasure, but it's never been found. We thought we'd have a crack at finding it. Stuck on a small island, <laughs> you got to have something. Go fishing, exploring. Better than sitting in front of a TV, that's for sure. So here we've got one half of an American warfighter plane that remains on Palm Island after the US Navy Air Force was based here during World War I and World War II. See so just beyond these planes that there's some overgrown structures, which is where the US Navy Air Forces were based here during both conflicts. At the time World War II broke out, Palm Island was an Aboriginal reserve where people from across mainland Queensland were moved, including members of the Stolen Generation. Robert Friday's mother was on the island during the war. They used to put coal up and down Palm Island to Townsville and back to see when his enemy ship were entering Townsville, you know, like submarines or Navy ships. If the enemy would have ways of coming in here. At that time, the uh, the war had changed, and uh, it was going in favour of the Allies. So, a decision in early 1943 was to build the base there, and construction and operation only lasted 12 months. It went from mid 1943 to mid 1944. So, a short life, but important. Uh, the uh, it was constructed by U.S. Navy CBs, which are a construction battalion. Then there was about three or four squadrons operated out of the base uh, during its operational period. And then it was rolled up and, and basically moved forward to other bases as the, as the war went on up through the islands. So that was the, the life of the base. With the momentum shifting in the Pacific War, American forces shifted north, leaving nothing behind but a few derelict buildings and some wrecks. Or so it appeared. I think they dropped some weapons into the channel there, but we don't know how the tide works, but it didn't matter. The tide, strong currents there too, you know, and the current might have washed all the weapons out. It wasn't uncommon for ordnance or obsolete equipment to be um, dumped in deep uh, trenches in the ocean. Um, certainly. Australia did it after the war. So the Americans, again, their policy was not to leave anything behind. So if it couldn't be reused, then it doesn't surprise me that it would have been dumped at sea. So there's a chance that a large stockpile of World War II equipment is still resting on the sea floor near Palm Island. Not losing hope, we set out to find other people who were also actively looking for this rusty treasure. I strongly believe there's a lot more wrecks out there than what they know about, but it's not always where they say it's located. So we have probably about four A4 pages of, uh, of lists of potential uh, wrecks around the Palm Island group. Well, what we have um, not found ourselves, but we've gone out and investigated ourselves, has been a... Um, a B-24 Liberator wreck that's off Hinchinbrook Island. But what we've also got to remember is, you know, it, it's it's been a long time since these wrecks go underwater. And uh, like everything, metal does deteriorate um, with um, with salt water. So, you know, they're not always going to be fully intact like we think and what you read about in the books. So like the uh, like the Liberator itself, because it only sunk in, um, it was only, we only found it in about six to eight metres of water. Uh, when Yassi came through a few years ago and other cyclones over the years, it's just broken it up and it's now scattered it all over the Palm Island group, which is unfortunate for the lost souls on board, but um, that's just what we get. 
After decades of searching and without much luck, the rumours of the buried equipment could be true. It could still be out there somewhere, or it could have been dissolved into bits that now lie across the Pacific Ocean thanks to the wild weather of North Queensland. Or it could be far away from Palm Island thanks to the strong currents that rip through the channel. But whatever the case, it's the mystery that keeps people searching.